What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bean Soldier TV. And today we're trying our second attempt at the Master Duel Nuzlocke because things did not go super well last time. Oh my God. No, 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 no. If we lose one match, it's over. We have to restart, which is what we're doing today. Last time, I think the Dragon Structure deck worked out for us really well. I just don't think that we built it in the best way we possibly could, especially going into the Monarchs like we did last time. Couple changes to note, we aren't playing Blue Eyes anymore. As fun as it was, it's not gonna help us that much. I'm sorry, Blue Eyes, you're just not gonna cut it this time. After about an hour of tutorial grinding, we're finally able to open our 10 packs for this attempt. If you stuck around for last episode, you would know that our pack luck was absolutely horrendous. 10 packs. Infinitely better than last time. Oh my goodness. Again, just a quick reminder. We're looking for a lot of the normal and rare cards so we can add to our deck. A lot of things like the Paleozoics are great. Torrential Tribute, Bottomless Trap Hole. Let's see what we got. First pack, Nuff. Ultra Rare, what we got? Super Poly. Yo! Upgrade, okay, we'll take it. Anything cool. Don't you bait me like that, come on. Oh. I don't need Malefic Ultra Rares. Super Rare Pack. What goodies we got? Tuning Gum. Strangolanius is good. Electromagnetic Turtle, that's also not bad. Oh, wow, wait, that could actually be really good. So this is just a big guy. That's awesome. Okay, nothing here. Break off Trap Hole. Okay, if we go against the Link deck, we could play that in our Super Rare is. Phylons, give me generic cards. Obliterate, not generic, super rare, come on. I don't need the Salamangrate field spell, come on. Pack nine, another ultra rare pack. Give me something good, give me something useful, please. Black on, torrential, that's huge. Dimensional fissure, also huge. Oh my goodness, okay, fantastic pack. What else we got? And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. Wait, this is also decent, isn't it? I mean, it's monster removal if we get for more fire formations. Last pack, can we end on a hollow? It's not looking like it. Oh, Cybers, whoa, whoa, that's a good one. Do we have tuners? This card's crazy. We might have to, to build around this. Ibly. Oh, I don't think we can make a lot of good use out of that, but these pulls were much better than last week. I We gotta look for our tuners and see what we got for Cyber's Quantum, because this card is broken. What does this take? A tuner and a non-tuner. What are what, What's our tuner situation looking like? So this paired with any of our level fours makes Cyber's Quantum. Is this a warrior? It is a warrior. We could play Rhoda. I think that this is what we're gonna be rocking with. We have the Solitary Sword of Poison. We pulled the Beach Troopers Ascent to help facilitate these tribute summons. Concrete, because we saw a Mathematician at one point, so maybe Concrete will come up. We just gotta make sure that we get lucky and we don't brick on a ton of traps. Let's get into the Monarchs again. If there was anything that we learned from last time, it's that these two star initial stages are kind of walks in the park. I'm not particularly concerned about this. That's a turn one tricky and I have smashing ground. That is the perfect draw. I mean, this is the first time that we get to see it. We're making that Cyber's Quantum Dragon. This is kind of what we built this deck around. Let's go ahead, let's use the Monster Reborn. Let's get back, and let's take the Monarch, why not? Gather your mind, that looks a little familiar. Cyrus Quantum Dragon, finish it off. After we miserably failed last time, I actually still don't think that our plan was that bad. I think that getting the Dark Orbs and coming back to finish up the Monarchs is the right call. If it makes me feel any better, our deck is so much better than it was last time. So, opening hand, also much better than it was last time. Here we go, Mathematician dumped the tree born. This all looks all too familiar. So, let's Unexpected die. We can go for the Tune Warrior. I think I've already messed this up. You know what, it's fine. Okay, it didn't matter anyway. 
Now I feel like we kind of have to smash and ground this. I'm going to keep them on very, very little cards. We're going to smash and ground this. I'm not making the same mistake as last time. Let's snorkel that Warwolf and let's get in for 2k. Set the ring and hopefully this is enough. Okay, let's get in for more pressure. This is already going a million times better than last time. No shot, it's this easy. I was sweating so hard last time. Tell me that I was freaking out for nothing. Why couldn't it have been that easy the first time? Oh my goodness. Okay, that feels so much better. You know what, with those, those legacy pack tickets, let's see if we can get anything to upgrade our deck. Why not? Let's see if we get anything. Now let's just skip it. Oh, I mean, probably one of the better cards we could have gotten. I'll take it. Sweet. Let's try and finish this up. What is the deck that they're playing though? I want. I just want to double check this first. We're going to have to get lucky. We're, we're really going to have to get lucky. Let's just hope that again, Monarchs have the same issue that they always do, where they always brick. Please don't open Nadea or Eidos. They didn't open it. So let's just try to get some damage in. Let's go for our Gene Warped Warwolf. The Lancer Dragonute. Getting in. Let's just set two so we have something to discard for the right Geki break in case things do not go well. Just a set. There's no shot. This is going so much better than before. We have lethal. Cyber's Quantum. Come on. This would be so huge. Battle. Attack. Use the effect. Bounce it back. Attack again. Attack for lethal. Let's freaking go. That was so much easier than it was last time. That gives us another 10 packs to open too. Cool. One section down. 10 more master packs. Again, we're looking for generic cards. That Cyber's Quantum Dragon last time was unbelievable. Again, these packs looking good. Anything generic. Agave, that's a good generic link for. More generics. Royal Winder. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so sick. Let's see if we can get a redo or to pair with it. Okay, two more. Three. Prank its place. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a dropsies. Come on. Beginning of the end is a very good card. I just don't think that we're playing a full dark deck to take advantage of that. Can we end on a hollow? And yes, we can. Okay, that's generic. I'll take it. Okay, let's let's go with the super at first. Foxy tune. And our ultra is. Ensemble Robin. Ah, oh, I don't have enough level ones to make that work. Good card though. As a time thief enjoyer, that Royal Winder looks really nice. We're gonna have to keep going through some more of these so uh, initial solo mode things. So we are gonna go through the Ruin and Demise. Has this listed as a three star? I don't think it's gonna be that bad unless we actually get Demise. I will say, if anything, I think that the whole, oh, whoa, that's a lot of back row. Let's get rid of one of these back row. Ballista squad. That's a little problematic. Let's just set the ring and see what happens. Oh no. Be ashamed though if uh, we had a ring of destruction set to take care of this ruin. This Cyber's Quantum Dragon is coming in extremely clutch. Now they're not gonna get their witch search either. Let's just bounce it back to hand. We're always going to keep the switch off the field if we can. You have normal summoned the switch three times in a row. Surely you have something better than Toon Warrior beating over you. That is a very consistent deck. I'll give it that much. We went back and we got some more dark orbs from the, the loner section of the monarchs. And now we're able to unlock the rest of the ruin and demise section. Good hand. That's a Cyrus Quantum Dragon if I've ever seen one. Could get in for a little bit of pressure with the Descent. Yeah, why not? Let's bounce whatever this is back to hand. Attack again. If he Ritual summons, we get to summon the Congrate. Okay, let's bounce the Sangan back to hand. So I don't want to deal with it. Please Ritual Summon. I want to summon Congrate. Oh, wait, that's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Really bad. This thing can still be targeted, right? Memory of an adversary. 
tell me that the B Trooper token is going to get in for lethal. Why even summon Cyber's Quantum if the token's gonna put in all the work? And one more spot for Ruin and Demise. I think this is the deck that actually has no, yeah, this is just straight up Demise. Torrential's huge. We're gonna start with the Luster Dragon. We're also gonna set Ring and Torrential. Okay, he's coming. Oh my God. Supreme King of Armageddon. It would be a shame if I just popped it now. And you're down to one card. It's it's already over. And I even got the Congrate again if you ritual summon. This is so anticlimactic. Uh, let, let's just summon something we haven't summoned before. Defender of the Labyrinth. In honor of the Gate Guardian support coming out. Get in for lethal. This was... <laughs> So much easier than what it was last time. Unbelievably easy. You know, I'm convinced that we just got screwed last time. Maybe it's going to be that easy. I know this is only the second episode, but if some of you are trying out your own Nuzlocke journeys, let me know how they're going in the comments below. I want to know if you've gotten any crazy pulls, if you've gotten any royal rares, and if any of the NPCs have been giving you any issues so far, just like Monarchs did last week for me. Maybe I was wrong last week. Maybe this is going to be much easier than I thought. Thank you.